Well, good morning, chat. How is your How is your Wednesday treating you today? I see a lot of dancing puddings going by, which is always a good sign. It's a good sign the day's off to a nice start. I have to uh, admit, I don't think I like this time slot. Uh, Jimmy's a little too tired. He's a little too sleepy. It was so much easier over at streaming. I could be streaming at 3 in the morning and it wouldn't bother me. Over here, it's... Oh, my God. I feel like I need at least eight cups of Folgers to fucking keep myself awake. I've been so involved, so invested. Try to keep up with the Monkey Jones shit after uh, hearing somebody give me a summary and watching 84 fucking hours of video footage about it. Trying to get caught up on the twists and turns of that shit. Just haven't had a lot of time to do anything else. It's like watching a slow motion train wreck. Trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. It's a wild fucking story. Not necessarily something I'm going to cover over here. Everybody else seems to be talking about it. I think I'm just going to sit back and be one of the passive audience members. Watching that debacle unfold. As everybody else throws in their hot takes on it. But... <laughs> Mumkey, Mumkey, cucked by a child, somebody in chat said. Well, yeah, I, I've, I, I got the basic outline. Somebody gave me a basic outline on Twitter yesterday. Because it's been like a four-month thing, and there's so many videos, it's like eight hours of source material. Trying to keep up with that shit's impossible. Especially if you've only been paying kind of half attention to it. I mean, uh, my familiarity with it was kind of knowing that he got um, deplatformed by uh, Susan Wojcicki, however you pronounce her name. Uh, but that was back in, like, December. And then there was some uh, some back and forth in a relationship. There was some uh, furry artist involved, <laughs> some teen boy involved. But I hadn't really given it the closest of attention. But everybody, every once in a while, like every two or three weeks, somebody keeps sending me a new fucking video related to it. They call, what do you think of this? I don't fucking know, man. I'm so far behind on it. It is its own self-contained soap opera. You miss a few episodes of that shit, and you jump in midstream. You don't know what you're dealing with. Suddenly, suddenly, you're, suddenly somebody's twin sister from another marriage turns out to be a witch living in the same suburbs, and you didn't know it. Oh, my God. And if you were paying attention to the last five episodes, you're fucked. You're way behind on the plot. So basically, I'm lobotomy. Well, I don't, I don't know about that. I'm not 100% certain about that. Yes, apparently, Mumkey released a, a new video yesterday. I think it was the day before. It's the most recent one. I, I don't know. It's, it's hard for me to sit down. It's a lot of investment. It's hard for me to want to sit down and, and watch uh, an hour and a half of anything, really, without knowing the backstory. I've been watching bits and pieces here and there, especially after reading that that summary, after hearing that summary. I don't even know how accurate that summary is. Let me see if I can find that summary. Let me share that summary with you, and you can make your own judgment on it. <laughs> because somebody went to the, the effort of trying to explain to my retarded ass what has been going on. Uh, where are we here? Uh, this is the cliff notes, as told by the odd guy. Easy peasy. Uh, this is how they outline the events. I don't know how accurate it is. I have no reason to believe they'd lie to me. Why would they do that? They're a good boy. So, here we are. Uh, this is the stated uh, timeline of events, apparently. Mumpy's, er, <laughs> Mumpy's, Mumpy's girlfriend made him socialize with his fans. Apparently he was a bit of an introvert. So, forced him to go out there. He cheated on her with the first girl he talked to. I guess that's one way to come out of your shell. Uh, you start out and you're not very social. You don't really know how to interact with people. Suddenly you're just the first person you talk to. I love you. I've never talked to another person in public before my life. Marry me. So apparently just from zero to 60 like that. Uh, told the girl he loved her. <laughs> and is only with with sheep for her money. I, I think sheep is the, that's the original girl. I mean, they're, I don't, maybe they all have barnyard animal names. I don't know. Sheep, sheep, over. Is that it? I don't know. Uh, this girl, apparently the one he decided to uh, to go for, you know. 
Uh, this girl is a cub porn artist who groomed and fucked a 15-year-old. Again, this is a summary I'm reading from. An ex-friend who was mad at him for banning him from Discord exposed the whole thing. Then a monkey and sheep broke up. Monkey moved away, bought a house, and got on antidepressants. These are these are all very big life decisions to all be hitting you one after the other. Hey, I'm gonna leave my long-term relationship. I'm gonna date this uh, uh, this furry artist, I guess, cub porn artist. Sorry. Uh, then I'm gonna buy a house and <laughs> get on some antidepressants. Let's just throw it all in there. Let's have a baby too while we're at it. Let's make it fucking complicated. Uh, makes videos antagonizing his fans and telling them he doesn't give a fuck. Moves in with the uh, cub furry uh, artist chick. Uh, alienates all his friends. Uh, this is, I guess this is where we're getting caught up to the current right now. Uh, it says, uh, Pedo chooses to leave him for the 15-year-old she groomed. Uh, he semi-proposes to her so she'd stay with him. Uh, and then the random details that are listed. There's a sex tape out there somewhere. Oh, fingers crossed. Worked out well for Pro Jared. Well, that was just a picture. This is a tape. And apparently the cub furry artist seems insane. Wonder how he came into that conclusion. Seems insane and even accused him of raping her at one point. Oh, it sounds like the perfect storm, doesn't it? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what the fuck is going on. Again... Uh, like I said, it bits and pieces, right? I, I just remember, oh yeah, there's uh, the monkey mask guy that got got deplatformed by Susan. He had some some shit going on with his uh, personal life. Maybe there was like some fight between him and his girlfriend, and another woman was involved. Uh, F N G R F N L M N O P. I don't know what his fucking name is. Some brony did a stream where he got the uh, the cub artist on. And talked about uh, her banging, banging some kid. So I guess that's related to all of this. I it, it's a clusterfuck of a lot of shit to go through. So I'm thankful for the, <laughs> for the fucking summary. So I could kind of start to watch a little bit here and there to see what the what the hell's going on. I don't know, man. This is some crazy shit. It's like a telenovela, though, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how this one flew under the radar for me, at least. I'm sure a lot of other people have been paying attention to it. Not. Not really over here. Uh, yes, chat. FNGR is still a thing. Apparently, somehow he got an exclusive Discord interview. And uh, they did a video. There's some funny clips that came from that, too. Talking about calling the police. Uh, getting the police involved. Uh, I think at one point she said something like... <laughs> what did she say? She said something like, well, in the state of Arkansas... You can't arrest a woman for banging kids. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's a law. There's that sound clips out there somewhere. A lot of crazy shit in that conversation. Again, I watched bits and pieces of that too. It feels like there's a whole story to this. Like it'd be on its own little two-hour epic TV miniseries. Well, I guess it wouldn't be a TV miniseries if it was only two hours long, but you get the point. Yeah, people saying, watch Mr. Meat Man's video. Again, that was another one uh, that people had linked before, uh, saying, hey, if you want to get caught up on this, be sure to check this video out. Again, that's, a, that's another hour investment. I mean, you figure if you're just jumping into it, you've got Mr. Meat Man's video, you got like two or three other summary videos, you got at least two to three videos from Mumkey, uh, you've got the FNGR thing with the, the interview in the Discord, that, that all adds up to, like, roughly eight to nine hours. Eight to nine hours of just raw video slash streaming. It's a lot of shit to go through. I've kind of, kind of uh, been tuned out of it. Besides, I'm paying attention to Epstein. Why would I not watch our boy Epstein and his uh, egg-shaped penis? <laughs> and the destruction that's going on with that. You know, in fact, let's... Uh, let me pull that clip up. Apparently... Apparently, our multi-billionaire who likes to uh, run and uh, facilitate the running of Kitty Fuck Island. I don't know what he calls it. What does he call his island of uh, degeneracy? I know he calls his fucking plane the Lolita Express. I don't know what he calls his goddamn island, though. Uh, but apparently, when he was going through a deposition for the last time, 
Uh, they got to ask him all sorts of questions, one which he wasn't very happy about. Oh, wait, but the volume on this one might not. Hold on one second. Let me just check something. Do you sound my sweat it has... Okay, we'll see if I, I think I can audio boost that. All right, uh, one second, chat. Let me, let me just get this pulled up. I think you'll enjoy this. Uh, get rid of that. Okay, just adjust a few things here. So Epstein gets called in for a deposition. They get to talk to him. <coughs> and what what question do they decide to lead with? You know, what? we've got this guy, this guy who's notorious that uh, allegedly did all these terrible things. What question should we open up with? I know. Let's talk about his dick. <laughs> Let's sit him down and talk about his egg-shaped penis. Oh, that's going to turn out well. All right. Um, do, where are we here? I'll just do desktop. I think desktop just makes the most sense. Uh, do, 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 there we go. Here's the deposition from, uh, <laughs> well, I'll let you, we'll watch. It's only a minute long. It's not very long. Oh, may it not be suitable for all viewers, just so you know. Your right hand, please. Yes. Do you solemnly swear the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth to help you guide? Yes, I do. Could you please give us your name? Jeffrey Epstein. Is it true, sir, that um, you have what's been described as an egg-shaped... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just... Well, let's stop right there. Let's just stop right there with that winning statement. Sir, is it true? Is it true you have a Humpty Dumpty dick? Sir, little girls have been telling us that your penis looks like an omelet. How would you respond to that allegation? Form, vague and definite, and I'm going to give you the, the first warning, Mr. Cuban, that these types of questions are not only argumentative, but directed in a manner to embarrass uh, Mr. Epstein. If you continue with this type of question, I'll adjourn the deposition immediately. Sir, according to the police department's probable cause affidavit, uh, one witness described your penis as oval shaped and claimed when erect it was thick towards the bottom but was thin and small towards the head portion and called it egg shaped. Those are not my words, I apologize. But as Mr. Now as Mr. Critton has stated that this is a Nobody, nobody talks about my egg-shaped penis. Nobody but me. I'm getting the fuck. Fuck you people. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. How dare you? How dare you impugn my reputation and that of my egg-shaped penis? How do you, how do you even have an Easter egg cock? How do you have a Humpty Dumpty dick? How does that even happen? Well, they said it was very thick at the bottom, but itty-bitty teeny-weeny on top. Is that true? Do you have an egg-shaped oval penis, Mr. Eggstein? I'm sorry, Epstein? <laughs> what the fuck? I need to find uh, just the, the whole deposition. If that was just one question in there, I want to hear the whole thing. I want to know, I want to know everything. Because the coverage back from 2006, I mean, with that deposition and with everything else that was going on, there's a lot of stuff flying around. Like how the Palm Beach police, when they investigated his home, found hidden cameras everywhere. And how it was alleged that those hidden cameras were used to record blackmail footage of different high-profile celebrities and politicians and financiers having illicit relationships with children. And that he was using those tapes to blackmail people. And now we have reports that they went to his New York mansion or apartment, whatever you want to call it. The seven-floor structure that's worth $77 million. And recovered a lot of photos and different materials from safes and vaults on uh, CD optical disc and other things. I'm wondering if those, you know, uh, images and those videos that they recovered weren't just alleged potential child porn, but instead maybe blackmail material related to people that knew Epstein or were going to his island. Oh, Jesus. Couple that with the fact that over the last day or so, they've been scrubbing certain references to Epstein and some former associates. Uh, you can look in Wikipedia where they've removed the fact that Bill Clinton flew on his plane more than 20 times that's been taken out not sure why they wanted to remove that it's been in multiple news articles and then you've got uh, other things like google image search apparently wiping out uh, different pictures that are out there now i couldn't check this myself i i don't know exactly how you'd find a cached image of a search result from a week prior 
for Google image searches for that specific term. Uh, but people are swearing up and down that Google's removing it. And I don't know necessarily if I disagree that they would be. Uh, even though I can't just outright prove it uh, with what happened with Project Veritas. Uh, talking about how Google wants to influence things and how they uh, you know, alter search results to direct you in a certain way. It wouldn't surprise me. It would not surprise me if they were fucking with search results in this particular instance. I don't know why. I don't know why anybody would be protecting anybody related to this, be it Bill Clinton or Acosta and his horrible fucking plea deal or anyone, really. They say, let them, let them get their comeuppance. Let, let them get what's coming their way. Oh, what was that, chat? Are we just having a still image for the stream, or for Jim streams now? Uh, no, this is just Jim testing out different start times to see what he likes. Uh, the real the real fun streams, the prepared streams, probably won't start for next week. I'm more just seeing what time of day I think is going to work best for me. Uh, I'm torn. I don't know if I like this start time or if I like 8, which would be an hour or two from now. Not 100% certain yet. I'm, I'm going to try out even earlier. On Friday, I'm going to uh, try a start time of about 4 in the morning to see if I can be fucked with to get out of bed and to try to start one. The plan going forward, though, is Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, right now, it's just trying to figure out when's a good time in the morning to start. And then I can Then I can put the big boy effort into it. I'm sorry, I've been so distracted with Mr... With Mr. Epstein's egg-shaped penis <laughs> and monkeys, uh, uh, I don't even know how you describe it. Uh, uh, what, what was this fucking show he's related? Uh, Breaking Bad. But I didn't even really watch that show. I, I know it was uh, White something. Walter White. Walter White and the Meth. That's 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 the show, right? Kind of. I I didn't really never even paid attention to that show. Not my not my thing. Have I had my morning nicotine? Just barely. Just barely. I, I, I don't know. I'm not feeling it this morning. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know if this start time is going to be appropriate for me or not. I think perhaps maybe later on would probably be better. I don't know. I'm just winging it, boys. I'm just winging it right now. Very short stream today. I'm going to even call it quits right now. I may go take my lazy Irish ass and go right back to bed. I don't know just yet. Have dreams of egg-shaped penises. Oh, delicious. A weird internet insanity shit. Funny Splatoon posts. I'm not touching that. The Splatoon community is not something you want to get invested in. I've, I've seen some weird shit come from that side of the internet. Uh, lots of YouTube content. It's almost like Minecraft. I, I don't know what it is with the degenerates in the Splatoon community. But they make Minecraft people look fucking normal and everyday common no I'm not going to uh, we're not going to look up Splatoon porn I don't know how DLive and their Chinese lemons would take uh, to us watching Splatoon porn I think that might be pushing it too far what about the show you were talking about last stream yeah you know I was planning I, I was thinking do I want to do that today or not probably not um, I've got some stuff planned. Uh, I wanted to go, you know, one of the uh, things I wanted to start to do was to go over, like, the history of Masiokas. I mean, we've watched some of the shit uh, from him before. Uh, the crazy guy that, he had some kind of weird psychological uh, condition, right, from what was alleged. Where, I, I know there's a proper term for it, I just don't remember what it is. But basically, uh, there are people that will mirror other people's behavior. Uh, you know, they, if they're talking to somebody, they'll pick up their vocalizations, their tics, their personality, and kind of uh, mirror it back to them. I mean, that's, that's normal to some extent. Uh, but Masiokas, he, he, I don't know what the condition was called, but he would just become the other person. He, <laughs> it's really weird. This was a guy that was super wealthy, who when people initially saw his videos thought, okay, well, he's like poverty stricken and poor and crazy. But it turned out, no, the guy lives in a really high-end house. The house that he's filming in with all his cooking videos is actually a second property he owns. Uh, you know, just lots of weird shit. I mean, that's like old SA stuff, but uh, that was one of the things I wanted to get into. Uh, there's another 
uh, another dating show that I came across that, like I said yesterday, is kind of like the, or yeah, yesterday, but on Monday, is like the IGN thing that I want to go over that I think has some potential, I think will be good. So I've got stuff planned, but again, uh, this week is more trying to fit into when is a good start time. And I, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm just half awake right now, and I don't think this is going to be the proper start time. Uh, somebody said, I prefer the old SS stuff, <laughs> but the SA were cool too. I sure, I'm sure you do, chat, but we can't really talk about the SS stuff. <laughs> I, they'll throw me off D-Live. I'm trying to be a good boy. Okay, we're going <laughs> to, we can't, we can't go there. Uh, stream at eight. Yeah, I, I think that, again, I, you know, I'm going to try Friday. We'll try really crazy fucking early. Uh, maybe that'll bring it all the way back around. And I'll be high energy gym. I don't know. We'll see. We're just starting off. Um, aside from the stream times on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, whenever I get that worked out, kind of going forward, uh, I'll be uploading videos to BitChute. I've got the <laughs> I've got the polyamory video coming out soon. Uh, that'll be going up on BitChute if you want to learn about cuck living and the saddest fucking forum that I've really ever come across, which is just husbands and wives hating their life. Just fucking miserable over the life decisions they've made by letting their partner fuck other people and trying to be cool about it. There's there's nothing stupider. Nothing stupider in this world than having somebody in a relationship come up to you and say, hey, I want to go fuck other people. Is that cool with you? And then saying yes. You might as well just leave the relationship. All these people on this forum all tried to be very accommodating. Oh, I'm cool. I'm hip. I understand that's the new thing. I've got to be open-minded. Nothing but a wasteland of broken marriages and broken hearts. Holy shit. Men and women. Husbands and wives. All fucking miserable. And there's some, there's some fucking doozies of a story from that place. So that'll be, that'll be fun. There's nothing, like, <laughs> there's nothing like watching somebody's mistake from a distance. And thinking, holy shit, at least it ain't me. At least I didn't fuck up that badly. My wife, my husband isn't fucking somebody else. I don't gotta deal with that shit. What is this? Uh, what about that incel forum with Sonic Tier or Sonichu Tier comics? Was your account approved? Oh, I remember. I know what you're talking about. You're talking about from the, yeah, that documentary, the documentary about uh, Forever Alones. I don't know. I don't think that account was actually ever approved. I never got a <laughs> never got a follow up email. You know, it could have been my opening message. I think might have been. I might have overplayed my hand a little bit. A little too enthusiastic about how much I hated those goddamn whores. And uh, that probably turned them off just a little bit. So maybe I've got to be more subtle about it. Subtly push myself into these different uh, situations. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, chat. Love shy. There we go. Thank you. That's what it was. Love shies. Yeah, I think, what was, what was the message that I gave them? I think I said something like, I hate fucking women. <laughs> Let me in. <laughs> they weren't. They weren't really into that. I overdid it. Sold it too much. Oh, that's true, Chad. I was not accepted as a true incel. Uh, everyone on the site already necked themselves? Uh, potentially. But maybe. Maybe. Uh, someone clipped Jim saying, my husband. Oh, you going to send that to Brian and make him jealous? Oh, hey, Mr. Outlines, guess who's got a gay husband? I can't, I can't co-sign that statement. Somebody's talking about black people in Westeros. Sorry, that's not gonna, that's not gonna do it. One inch of bone forever alone. Well, you guys have all these cute little sayings for the poor bastards at the incel forum. Those love shy guys had it rough. Well, the one did. There was that one well-adjusted guy, and then everybody else wanted to kill the other dude, the fucking cameraman. Oh, God, and then the follow-up to that, there was, like, uh, production people that were talking on Reddit and other forums about making that video and saying, <laughs> and saying how scared they were because uh, a couple of the incels, like, called them up and were like, I'm, what did they say? Like, somebody threatened to rape one of the women. <laughs> I'll have to do... I'll find that and uh, do, like, a little minor update on that. But holy shit. Yes, they were very upset that that guy was getting some pussy. They were not. Uh, they were not enjoying it. Have I watched the Mr. Meatman video yet? Uh, no. Like I said, I, 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 
I was kind of half paying attention. I saw the summary. I saw people talking about it. I know people are streaming about it. Uh, I found like eight different, <laughs> eight different videos. I've just been watching bits and pieces, slowly working my way through. I'm trying to go. I, I don't. I can't even say it's chronologically because the shit's all over the place. Uh, but I do have that video queued up to watch because everybody said, "Oh, there's a lot of shit in there that you don't want to, you don't want to uh, skip over because it explains a lot of what's going on." But it's not something I could just sit down and watch all eight hours straight through. It's way too much. Yes, they were they were all very pissed. Love shies rise up. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to tell you on that one. They bought some gamer girl bathwater to make them feel less alone. Holy shit! Talk about the best business decision that chick has ever come up with. Hey guys, I'm gonna put on a bathing suit and sit in this puddle for five seconds. Then I'm gonna sell you the puddle, <laughs> and you're gonna pay me what is it, thirty dollars a jar? brilliant. That's entrepreneurial ship. Hey, there are a bunch of horny guys out there that will literally buy puddle water from me if I just call it Gamer Girl Bath Water. <laughs> and they did. So this is DLive. I like streaming more, I think. Uh, yeah. I, I think DLive has potential. Uh, at least we got our dancing puddings back. I'd like a few of the features back, but, you know, uh, from what I understand, the mobile version's a little choppy. Desktop can be a little choppy. I'm tr still trying to adjust the stream settings to get it to play a little smoother. Uh, but it's not its not terrible. I think as long as we're on... Uh, I have the age restriction thing, the X tag active. I think as long as I leave that on, they'll leave us alone. They'll kind of let us do our own thing in our little corner. And not really fuck with us. Just leave us be. Leave us in our dancing puddings alone. Let us be, f <laughs> let us be free over here. Turn that off. There we go. Oh, what was that? Oh, now see, the dancing puddings have overwhelmed the chat. X-rated pudding discs. Ah, oh, that's very true. I wonder if I could get an egg-shaped penis emoticon for the chat. Do you think DLive would let us have that? Would that be pushing it too far, perhaps? Probably. That might be, <laughs> that might be a little bit too much. No, people don't think the egg-shaped penis emoticon is going to fly over here. Perhaps not. We could have called it the little egg stain. <laughs> a little egg stain. And we could, uh, you know, I will be honest with you. I, I do think Epstein, Epsteinstein, Epsteinapin, whatever you want to call him. Jeffrey, our boy Jeffrey. Uh, I don't know. I got a good feeling. The trial at, very, at, the, trial at the very least is going to be a spectacular shit show. I don't know if stuff like Court TV is still around, but... If they stream that, I, I might watch that shit every day. I, I mean, that could be that could be like a, <laughs> the 2010s version of OJ. I don't know. A, just a giant fucking shit show. Maybe Kato Kalin will show up. Maybe he was on the Lolita Express and we never knew it. <laughs> Maybe, was Ron Goldman killed? Was Nicole Brown murdered? Because they knew the truth about Jeffrey Epstein's kitty fuck fun time island and his Lolita Express. Does the story go deeper than we knew? Potentially. Well, we'll never know. Unless Court TV. We need to get Nancy Grace to present this every day. I want her bitchy Texas face on television. Giving me her snide comments about this case every day. Fuck Anderson Cooper. Get Morning Joe the fuck out of here. Give me Nancy Grace and Court TV. Let me, let me watch Mr. Egg-Shaped Penis and his trial of the century for the next year. Uh, SFO did it. What was this? Oh, see, this is the one thing. Okay, where SFO did a cringy video about DLive, about how it's scamming its users. Well, I will tell you, you're going to probably want to turn off that that Chinese botnet that's mining all those coins. If your computer has smoke coming from it right now, say thank you, Chinese lemons. Thank you, Chinese lemons, for the, the damage you've done to my PC. No. Uh, there, there's definitely some issues with the site, but again... As long as I have my own little corner, my X-rated, age-restricted section that I can just stream from, I'm, I'm uh, a happy little boy. I know there are rumors that BitChute is going to be doing streaming soon. I don't know how true they are. I think that's just for Alex Jones and InfoWars right now. 
I don't really even know particularly on how, uh, you know, on that website, how it would technically function to stream. Just kind of given that it's peer-to-peer. -peer, maybe it works really smoothly. I don't know. I've only seen one or two examples of it, and it's always been Alex Jones InfoWars stuff. I don't know if it'll ever be released to the general public, or if it is, if it's just like a, an alpha test, a beta test, and that's something that's going to be put out way into the future. Who fucking knows? Yes, thank you, Based Lemons. There you go. I, I see the people are giving me ice creams and lemons. Oh, they let you do messages now? Okay, well, somebody gave a diamond. I don't know how many... Wait, where's the conversion on this shit? Uh, Jim, I bought a hat and a mug. Am I a good groom link? Well, sure you are. And thank you for the... God, I think a diamond on here is like 10 cents? Wow. I, how, how does this break down? I think a lemon is half a nickel. <laughs> uh, an ice cream... Might be a third of a penny. And a diamond is maybe 14 cents. I think that's how this all breaks out. That's that's the total combined cost of it all. Okay. Well, we've done about a half an hour stream chat. I know. I know it's short. <laughs> I know it's a tiny, tiny stream. It's kind of like Mr. Epstein's egg-shaped penis, to be honest with you. Uh, but we're probably, I'm gonna probably gonna, yeah, I'm gonna cut it here. I just, I'm a little too tired today. I think this is a bad start time. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't like it. I don't like 6, or no, I'm sorry, 7 p, or 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's not a time for me. Maybe I should go earlier. Maybe it should be 4 in the morning, or stick to 8 in the morning. We'll find out this Friday with the last test stream before we get it nailed down going forward with the show. I know, I know. How will you survive your mornings? Well, I'd go watch deposition footage of uh, <laughs> Epstein. And, uh, you know, see if you can find more examples of his egg-shaped penis. I actually am going to try to dig up the deposition to see if there are more funny bits. Potentially there is. I don't know. I want a shit show trial of the century. God, I hope that's coming up. Oh, I know rich people and famous people are shitting bricks. I know other people are like, oh, it's not going to go anywhere. I have a really good feeling that it is going to go somewhere. Just a gut feeling. I could be wrong. That's fair. That's fine. Uh, but I've got stuff planned for next week. Got some good show ideas. Right now, this week, just testing start times. Thank you for coming out to the early morning time. Uh, once I do the one on Friday, I'm going to put up a little poll and let people choose what they think the best start time is. Hopefully they don't pick this one. Doesn't. I'm just not feeling it. I'm just not feeling it. I liked 8. I think 8 will work. Or maybe just really early at like 4. We'll have to see going forward. Uh, have a good day today, chat. I don't have any great Vocaloid so, or songs to play you out, I'll be honest with you. Uh, let me see if I can find something. Just to, just so you can hum. You can hum on your way out. Uh, let me see here. Uh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm trying to think, what would you hate the most? <laughs> I could play pinball music, but I think that would just be exceptionally mean for no reason. Oh, you know, I, I, no, no, that's not it. Oh, this is so difficult. What, what's that, chat? You want to hear Bob Seger's Get Out of Denver? What a weird choice for a fucking musical outro, but if you insist... If you insist, I'll have to do it. A ramble. Perhaps reciting obsessive detail was my way of finding control in an uncontrolled situation.